we have quite a bit of organizational tags and each one is designed to help us refine and narrow down our search area. So now I want to look at an article tag. And if I look at my page here, you can see how even though it's just gibberish, it looks like an article. Well, if I go onto a website that's maybe like a blog or a news type of site, I might see lots of little sections of different articles. And it's helpful to know where one article starts and one article ends, because I might have multiple articles inside of my main section. Now, there's actually an easy way to do this. I'm going to come in here to my page, and this sample page, like I said, only has one article, but we could have dozens if we wanted to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an article tag. I'm going to then move my closing article tag and now I have my main tag and inside of it I have an article tag. So everything inside my article tag needs to be completely self-contained and all that means is I'm not going to have part of an article over here and part of an article over there in two separate tags. No. All of my one article is going to belong inside of my one tag. And then if I have another article tag, that's going to be a different article. And if I have another, it's going to be, once again, a different article. And I can have a variety of these. Now, because this is an organizational tag, if I come in here and reload my screen, you're going to see there's not a big difference here. So what would I need to do? Well, I could go in, I could maybe put a little border around it. And that might be really helpful if I have something like a news site where I have a lot of different articles on a home page, or I could just leave it as it is. And this once again helps the screen readers and helps search engines when they're searching through and reading through content on a site. So that's what the article tag is for and how you're going to use it. And you want to remember, you can have multiple sets of article tags inside of your web page.